Linda a champion regrets granting her son early access to social media. Her intentions were clear to provide Messiah Jace Ohine a champion with a solid educational foundation. She is now grappling with the uncertainties arising from the use of social media. My son was watching, is it Paw Patrol? That's how it started. So they're from babies, because you want them to start, first it starts off like a learning process for them, because you want them to be able to learn the basic and stuff, and then before you know, it becomes an addiction. But one good thing is that Messiah, through his association with social media, helped her become familiar with many Arsenal players and cities of countries, demonstrating his invaluable role. In a way, it could be good, but I feel like with a lot of the programs, it makes it hard because, for example, he says, oh, mum, today... I'll be telling you what to do. So you give the child a chance to, to rule you for a day, and he thinks it's normal, but it's a reality show that he's watching. The story is significantly different with Amanquez. 14-year-old Bernice Amanqua could have fallen victim to rape or molestation due to her concerns about sexual exploitation. Until her mother's intervention, she was entertaining an elderly stranger on Facebook. To one day, Namekoy is a mekofanamahe. I found out one day that she was chatting with an elderly person, so I seized the phone. My intentions were to help with her education, but I didn't know it could end up this way. Issues like this is what prompted Congress again to summon leaders of these major social media platforms on chart online safety and protection. Social media is a very powerful tool. But we're here because every parent I know, and I think every parent in America, is terrified about the garbage that is directed at our kids. Child Online Africa is concerned about a weekly structured jurisdiction like Ghana due to the borderless nature of social media. We have TikTok and all others designed from U.S. and places. Now, they use their laws to inform those designs and standards and what have you. What standards have we got in Africa? So we will now have to make sure that we take advantage of relevant spaces which can make our voices be heard. Because clearly, when people are running, we are leapfrogging. Once you're on social media, you're exposed to a lot of content, including adult ones, and I'm sure you know what exactly I'm talking about. And children are no exception. There are some adult content that requires your age, and so it takes just a lie to sign up. And it, there's no sort of verification to confirm whether the person signing up is a minor or age appropriate. I'm here thinking out loud what the legal implication is. There's a general consensus of intermediary liability that because tech companies don't produce the content that come on their platforms and they only facilitate people being on the platforms, they should not be held responsible if, for instance, a child dies from practicing a suicide video on somebody's platform or if somebody is sexually exploited or lured on a platform. And that is the immunity that has been granted them. It is that immunity that has resulted in their being a bit hesitant or lax to implement more stringent methods. Currently, there is no specific age limit for children to access social media, but parental supervision is crucial to ensure their child only assesses useful content and avoids potential harm from its usage. George Quinn, TV3 News, Accra.